Ring a ding ding kitties, Crank Cody here, and welcome to the very first Cody's Controversial Corner. Now, before I get to the topic of my first card, Controversial Corner, CCC, um, I would just like to say that. Well. I don't know. Um, a lot of things in my life have prompted me to um to do this episode now um today i almost lost almost had to put one of my dogs down luckily we didn't mm. we got some new medicine for him um and um Another thing which I just found out a while is my best friend's stepdad uh, passed away, um, which sucks. Um, I knew him oh for a long time now since I want to say since my sixth grade, which is over like seven, eight years ago maybe. Um, I've played games with him. Um, he was cool, he would always talk to me, ask me how I was doing stuff, so it kind of sucks finding out that he died today. Um, so that's what, I, I wasn't going to do this episode, which this death episode is over death, um, and what everyone, what people think, it, I'm, I'm just gonna ramble for like ten minutes about it, but. Yeah, I thought, you know, after all the emotional stuff that I've gone through today and then that my best friend has gone through, I assume, today and probably will go through for a while, I felt like this would be a fitting time. Um, so yeah, to start out, this is going to be Cody's Controversial Corner about death. Um, I'm going to try to do maybe one of these a week. I'm just going to pick a random topic or something that's on my mind, or relative, and I'm just going to talk about it. I'm going to say what, like, I'm going to talk about what religions, philosophies, psychology, everything says about a topic. Facts and fiction, my own beliefs, beliefs of others, etc. Um, so to start out, um, death, by definition, is the secession of all biological functions that sustain living organisms. Um, <clears throat> that's the definition of death. Uh, it says here, and of course there's many ways that people can die. Um, many philosophical uh, inquiries and religion practices revolve around uh, many things after death. Um, reincarnation, rebirth, uh, resurrection, um, Ment mentality moving forward, uh, eternal oblivion, which is just when you, you know, your consciousness ceases to exist. Um, so yeah, of course, religion is a big part. I'm currently reading. If you can see it right there, back in the background, I've been reading uh, the Divine Comedy. I'm only on. I've finished Inferno. I'm almost done with Paradise. No, uh, Purgatorio. Um, and that's just got me, you know, thinking. I'm I'm a psychology major with an emphasis in abnormal psychology. Um, I'm also a philosophy minor and an actor, a theater major. So I'm always thinking. I guess what prompted this video really is that I have an irrational fear of death. Um, I actually looked at. I, I don't know what it's called. I really want to know it. Um, death anxiety. There's oh necrophobia. Oh, no. Thanatophobia? Oh. Okay, necrophobia is the fear of dead people. But thanatophobia is the fear of death in general? Anyway, I have death anxiety. Um, I always am constantly, consistently thinking about death. Um, I am, that's the one thing I'm afraid of, and I'm not, like, ashamed or anything. I feel like it's natural for people to be concerned about their own life. 
I mean, of course everyone and everything dies. And it's very depressing. Um, people have tried to prevent death by freezing um, robotics, stuff like that. And it either doesn't work or probably is not going to work in the future. But I... I fear it. And I wish I could believe in, like, a nice life after death. But... I can't. The one thing that I always fear about is just blackness. I always fear... I don't fear a hell. I don't fear a reincarnation of a, you know, a smaller being or anything. I fear blackness. I fear that you die and you are no more. You, you can't think. You can't feel. You're just no more. And everything that you've done in your life is gone. It's just, you know, it's kind of, like, worthless. Like, why did you... It's not that you wasted time doing it. It's just... It only left a legacy. It, on yourself, did not do much. You can die happy and you can die sad, but if that happens, if that's the case, that it's just blackness, then, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, but someone has to be right. Everyone in the world believes in something different, you know, like resurrection and stuff. <clears throat> Everyone can't be right. One, one theory is right. That's just fact. N everyone can't be right. Every, there can't be eternal oblivion with reincarnation. With a heaven. It, it just is not possible. And so, that's why I'm not... I try to think of it in a philosophical manner all the time. There is nothing we can do about death. If we end up, if we end up turning into zombies after death in some time due to a virus, nothing we can do about it. If we end up dying, <coughs> and if we end up dying and there is a heaven, that would be the best. That would be the perfect scenario. And I do hope it's right. Do I think it's right? Probably not. But I do hope it is right. I do hope there is a paradiso. Even a purgatorio. I'd be totally fine with being in purgatory. Or limbo, which is the first circle of hell. I would totally be fine with that. But death is always on my mind. And I'm sure everyone else has some kind of moment in their life where they think about it a lot. <clears throat> I believe that all fears are revolved around death. If somebody's afear afraid of height heights, they're afraid that that height is going to hurt them, that they will fall and die. It's revolved around death. If they're afraid of snakes, they're afraid that snake is going to hurt them or others is going to kill them. They are afraid of death. And, you know, clowns. Even if you're afraid of clowns, you're afraid that clown is going to harm you. It's... And, you know, immorality... That I, I took a philosophy of evil class. Morality is a big big question. Are people good or evil? We don't know. There's some, you know, yes and no and maybe... I don't think it really matters. Because all we can do is we can hope for the best. And then... And then it happens. I know when I die. I do want a funeral. And I want Elvis's If I Can Dream play to my funeral. Whether cremation, burial, <sighs> burial at sea, you know. If, I, if somebody puts me in a sarcophagus or a sarcophagus and lowers me into a pyramid, you know what? I want Elvis's If I Can Dream to be played there. I don't care. But I do fear death. And I'm always thinking about it. I'm always very paranoid about it. I'm always running through, like, you know, as I'm driving, I'm always wondering if that car hits me and it kills me, you know, that could happen. It's, everything's a possibility. I try, before death, I try to enlighten myself. I want to see if I can break through 
a religion or a philosophical thinking. And I want to see if I can die with peace. I don't think that's the key. But if you can die without fearing death, then you can die peacefully. You don't even have to die believing anything. As long as you die happy, accomplished, and peaceful. Your fear may be gone. I don't think I will ever come to that. And I wish I could believe that good things will happen. I just can't. I can't bring myself to do that. Maybe over time. Maybe after finishing the Divine Comedy, I can be happy about death. So, enjoy life. Learn things. Experience things. Don't leave things, don't leave things the chance. Try to have fun. Try to learn. And with that, I bid you all farewell. Hopefully this video does not ruin your day. Next week, I'm going to be filming my response to video games and its effects on culture and children and violence. So, have a nice day. Be peaceful. And be happy.